But it's Tyler here at the Israel Off-Season Competition, checking in Team number 4744 Ninjas. Uh, you got to take a look at this robot, by the way, one of the more unique ones here. Uh, we haven't seen too many robots that are doing this year the full uh, package of uh, doing the uh, intake, uh, indexing, and shooting through one area. Uh, so very excited to talk more about uh, what's gone into that. And of course, we'll follow that full traversal climber uh, as well, too, they've gone through. And talk about some of the features and capabilities that's gone into this robot. Uh, Ninjas, by the way, a team uh, definitely got to keep your eye out on the radar in future seasons uh, as they uh, have been doing really well and looking to do even more things here at this event and, of course, in future seasons as well. So we're going to dive more into this robot, talk more about it coming up here on Behind the Bumpers. This video on First Updates Now is made possible by viewers like you and also the following sponsors. At Kettering University, over 30% of the student population was in high school robotics. These same students have received a portion of over $7 million in scholarships. Scholarship applications for FIRST students are now available. Get more information at kettering.edu slash FIRST. SOLIDWORKS is free for FIRST teams. Over 80% of U.S. engineering schools and 370,000 plus companies use SOLIDWORKS to design great products. SOLIDWORKS can help you design a great robot on desktop or on the cloud. Go to SOLIDWORKS.com slash FIRST to register your team. Edo, we're going to start out uh, talking about this uh, this monstrosity that you have uh, up here. Uh, so I'd love to just hear about how did you even come up with doing this uh, in the first place, and then we'll talk about some of the features as well. Okay. So first of all, we we were a young team with uh, no no a lot of crew members. So we decided we need to figure out a strategy that not taking from us so uh, so hard work because we didn't have the the capability of uh, making a crazy shooter with intake and uh, taking it into the shooter so we had to figure out how we, we will do it and still be relevant to this match so actually we thought about this mask this humongous thing we we start by thinking about how we can to take two of the balls that we want to put in, in the lower hub, that, that's what we wanted to do, and do it fast, fast as we can. But also, the unique strategy that we talked about uh, earlier, we thought about the lack of uh, balls in the field. So we thought how we can make the strong robots be less, less relevant in the field. So we thought how to hide the balls in some places on the field, so they can't reach the ball so uh, so easily. So we thought about uh, plenty of uh, hiding places that we can keep the balls and make them not not touching the ball while we are doing a defend and taking more of the balls. So in the first uh, district, we had only one plate that got a lot of damage quick. We thought. Um, how we need to change it to make it uh, be more strong. So we got two plates, one from uh, polycarbonate and uh, one from metal, so they can be more strong. We got this. And the angle. The chain is uh, dragging down the sprock and make him uh, go up, Tarim. And then we can shoot the balls into the lower hub and make sure we got two of them. Torid Rega Nasim time. We will put two. That's off. Why, why? Alapanim. Okay, so we take. And then we shoot it into the lower hub. Um. When you're looking at, uh, you know, you mentioned you're doing some defensive strategies uh, and then uh, shooting into the low hub as well, too. When you're looking at the game challenge uh, in general, obviously you're doing the traversal climb really well for something like that. Uh, was the decision to go with something like this? You mentioned that, you know, you're a team with not a lot of materials going through. Um, this still looks like a lot went into it, though, right? And, like, you had to do a lot for this. So, when you're thinking about the game challenge, uh, was the high hub just kind of out of the question? Were you always considering low the entire time? Uh, we thought we thought about it. The question is if we thought about going to the upper hub. So, we thought about it a lot, but we, we got to understand that 
if we are going to risk it and going for the upper up, we might uh, end up with no, no, uh, anything, uh, anything at all. Yeah. So we we keep thinking about what are we going to do, and be realistic. So we want to play in the field and be relevant, that we can change the game, as we as we said earlier about the strategy, and uh, this we, this is with what we came up with. Well, I love the design and the packaging for it. Definitely looks, uh, I think, a really great showpiece of your robot for sure. Uh, let's move in and talk about the climber. Uh, Giffen's going dis to discuss more about what's gone today. Uh, you guys have been doing traversal climb really well, uh, so I'd love to hear more about the structure itself, and then let's uh, show up a demonstration of it as well, too. Um, so we have three hooks. Uh, two is uh, static hooks, and uh, one is dynamic. dynamic. Uh, that can go up and down, so we can climb to the climb to the second run. Second run. Um, pull us up. Pull us, pull us up, and then wait. So we can move this. So we can move it, and then climb to the next level. Um, we use here. In a rope that roll on this on this little thing, on this sprint, the and then it can pull down the the hook. The these two springs uh, always um, wants to take it the. The hook up, so that way we have fully control. Uh, I want to wrap up just a question on your climber, if you don't mind. Um, on the traversal climb, uh, two questions: How long does it take you to do it? And then, uh, do you try to do anything to try to reduce how much your robot swings while it's going up onto the traversal rung? So, I can uh, answer both of the questions. So, about the how much time does it take? Around the uh, 20 seconds, 22 seconds is uh, to make the thing go up to the traversal. And uh, what is, was the other question? How do you try to reduce uh, how much like swing okay. the robot's doing? That's so we have two major uh, differences we had from the first competition. This thing, we have also the angle. Uh, it moves up and down. And also it like, can tilt, bend over the robot when, he's, when it's on the rung. This, this thing is not moving. Um, the whole robot is moving, not the also the only the arm. Uh, so it make him go uh, up and down like this, tilt him, and make him uh, more stable when, while we are going up. Well, then, just thank you so much for taking time to tell us more about your robot and your team. So it's great to learn more about it. And uh, looking forward, uh, of course, how you do here at the competition, but really looking forward to future years as well, what your team has to bring coming out of COVID, getting stronger and better each year. Really looking forward to it. Thanks a lot, guys. Thank you. Thank you. This video on First Updates Now is made possible by viewers like you and also the following sponsors. SolidWorks is free for first teams. Over 80% of U.S. engineering schools and 370,000 plus companies use SolidWorks to design great products. SolidWorks can help you design a great robot on desktop or on the cloud. Go to SolidWorks.com first to register your team. At Kettering University, over 30% of the student population was in high school robotics. These same students have received a portion of over $7 million in scholarships. Scholarship applications for first students are now available. Get more information at Kettering.edu first. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell to stay up to date on our new videos. Keep the conversation going and provide your input to our content. Watch our live shows at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Join our Discord at discord.gd forward slash first updates now and check out Fun FTC on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and First Updates Now on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter.